hello people hi there thanks for joining me again on my channel so today we'll be making the Caribbean skirt some call it the layered skirt while some call it the tiered skirt so this skirt comprises of three tiers one two three okay so the length of my skirt is 33 inches and you can see that I've divided into three the first tier will be 10 inches, second tier 10 inches, third tier 11 inches, and then I added two inches band. But for my tutorial, I'll be cutting this together, the band with the, with the first tier. So you can decide to divide your measurement evenly, or you can decide to make this, you know, smaller, or you make this both equal it all it's all your preference that matters here yeah. so for the width of my first tier i'm going to measure my hip circumference that's for this first one you use your hip circumference because i will be smoking the waistline with an elastic band the big size elastic band so i'm just going to make this my hip circumference with a bit of ease added to it okay so for the second tier you're going to multiply your hip circumference by two inches sorry by two you multiply your hip circumference by two to give you the fullness of the second tier and then for the third tier you multiply your hip circumference by three to have a fuller measurement on the third tier and please remember that you have to add your seam allowance to the length measurement so when i cut 12 here remember my band is 2 inches and my first tier is 10 inches so that's 12 i'll be adding half inch allowance to join it to the second tier and here too i'll cut 10 sorry here i'll cut 11 half to join to the first tier and half to join to the third tier and my third tier i will add half inch up here and then add one inch down here so that i can fold in the m line to top stitch so let's go over to the work table now as i show you how to cut this properly now i'm going to cut my first tier with the band that's what i have there my hip circumference 27 inches on fold that's the width with the two inches band at the top so you can see it's on fold 27 inches is what i cut that's the width to so give me 54 for the hip ease so i added the ease to it now for the second tear i'll multiply the hip circumference times two so that's 54 times 2 is what I cut here for the second tier. Yeah, so that's the fullness. It's going to be fuller than the first tier. That's it. So remember to cut your seam allowances for the top and the bottom of the second tier. Now this is the third tier. The third tier will be hip circumference multiplied by three by three so that you can have be a huge fullness at the lower part and here you can feel free to join you know fabrics together to achieve your fullness because you'll be using the gathering stitches gathers so the joining will not really show three hip circumference times three that's for the third tier of our skirt. So I'm going to sew them together, the joint part. So once I'm done sewing, I'll take the second tier and notch the center point. I've notched the center point. And I'm going to be, yeah, I notch that. And I'll be adding it to, I'll be fixing the the second tier on the first tier that's the base of the first layer 
I'll just pin it round so that I can gather in the second layer into the first layer of my skirt. So you're going to use your gathering stitches. Make sure you secure both with a pin and you're going to use your gathering stitches to gather the second layer into the first layer. When I'm done, you're going to see how it is. Okay, so I'm done now. You can see that's the first layer at the top. Yes, and the second layer has been gathered into the lower part of the first layer. And so I'm going to notch the center of the front of the second layer. And then I'm going to also notch the center of the third layer and I'm going to pin I'm going to pin the third layer to the second layer. I'm going to be this is very easy. You can make this skirt in less than an hour because it requires no structure at all. That's why I'm using the elastic band and gathering stitches. So I'm going to pin the center points together of the second and third layer and then I'm going to do my gathers gathering stitches for the third layer into the bottom of the second layer okay so i'm going to gather all the fullness into that place and now our skirt is almost ready almost ready just look at the fullness look at how beautiful beautiful it is yeah this is so gorgeous so i'm going to take the M line that's the base of the skirt and you fold in two sorry a quarter of an inch and another quarter of an inch and you're going to sew it round the top stitch round and then I'm going to align the back of the first second and third layers together and I'll sew one inch from top down one inch from top down and so once I'm done, this is what you have. So it's it's ready. It's almost ready. So I'm going to fold in my one inch at the top for my band. And because this is a selvage line, I'm not going to be folding twice. I folded just once because the Kampala I'm using has a very neat selvage. So I'm then going to pack. I'm going to pass my elastic band into the waistline, and then my skirt is ready. So you just turn it out. You fix your elastic band on the waistline, depending on how tight or how loose you want the elastic band to be. Please like my videos, share my videos, and.